women's brackets here in a bit. But we started out with 82 men yesterday, or actually, let me rephrase that. There was one woman that played the Open yesterday, Natalie. I think she was like one out of the money. All right. All right, we got a break going here. I am looking for the women's bracket. Everyone give me a moment. We are using digital pool. Looks like we got 20 ladies today. All right. Hey, Albert. Uh, no, we got it on uh, this one. Mike and Rudy. They're on table 30. They're all the way in the back. Sorry about that, Albert. All right, let's see what we got here. We got Billy at the table. He is from League City. He's in town for the tournament. He was on one of the matches yesterday on the stream. Uh, rules for the tour. It is flip or lag for the break, rack your own, one on the spot, two in the back. Because it's rack your own, the nine ball does not count in the bottom two pockets on the snap. The three foul rule is in effect. They got rid of the three point rule this year. You know, jump cues are allowed. Uh, you're welcome, Albert. Okay, he's going to go down the rail with this two. The three is over there by him. Uh, these are brand new eight-foot diamond tables. They are roughly about two and a half, three months old. Which is a big improvement from the old Gandys they had here. You know, one thing I didn't ask, can y'all hear me okay? Video okay? Nice draw there. Take the five in the side pocket. Oh, nice shot. Get on the position on the one. All right, so Billy gets on the board first. Hey, Julio. How you doing? Thank you, Pops. All right, and as y'all can tell, we are using the Predator Arcos 2 balls and the Predator Arrow Rack for the tour. The sponsor, title sponsor is Predator Arcadia, which is their cloth. But Predator was kind enough to send Arcos two balls and the arrow rack uh, for all the tables. They are they do sell uh, used sets of balls and racks and stuff like that, new and used. So if you are interested, let us know. We can get Carmel involved and get y'all some. So eight down. The one going, one going, yep, one's down. And he's got right there by the two ball.
So this is Muhammad. All right, I need to start my page. All right, nice, nice position here for the four, the five. He'll roll up for the five on the side. Now the six is over there by the nine. Hey, Russell, we're down to 16 in the open tournament. Everyone that came back today is in the money. Okay, he has an angle for the six. He kept it simple. Nice. And since this is a winner's side match, it is a race to seven. All right. That was breaking run. So we're going to be countering back and forth for a while. Excellent shooting. Now, Predator Arcadia has an arrangement partner with Jam Up Apparel. If you'd be interested in getting a Predator. Syntex jersey. Uh, here they are. You just go to Jam Up and Enter Predator Syntex, and you can order it. These are the choice two. Uh, th these are the options. Uh, Carmel did ask that if y'all have any suggestions, y'all's feedback on these, let me know in the chat or send an email. Let me get you back to the table. Let us know. She is trying to work on the clothing line for the tour. Yes, Russell, I did get it. I got it via Instagram. Yeah, I read email to this morning. Sorry about that. All right, let's see what we got here. Let me get my big screen up. All right, he's a little tied up here. He's just going to hide and put some distance. No, not that great. Mohammed will be able to kick off the short, uh, long rail, hit it for sure. He may be able to cut it. He's got a better view than I do, of course, so. But, I mean, either way, he'll be able to touch it. Uh, I can't tell you because of the diamonds, but I might be able to tell you how many. Uh, if I can find Carmel. Just hold that thought when I get a hold of Carmel. I'll let you know. All right. So he ended up giving ball in hand on it. You 
but I do know there's a few players that came in from Austin because of the diamonds. Yeah, he didn't hit a rail afterwards. Yeah, because they said they would not come down here after last time. Them Gandys, I mean, they they were in their day, they were great tables. But now that the Diamonds are here, and there's three, lo three Fast Eddie's locations in San Antonio that have brand new Diamonds. They spent a lot of money upgrading equipment. And all three locations will have a stop this year here for the Predator Tour. We'll be here twice. We'll be at Braun twice. And Calabra is for the uh, Jack and Jill Open Scotch Doubles event. The Gandys, is that what you're referring to, Phil? And the Olhausens? They made, let's just say they made Fast Eddie's a lot of money over the years. They paid for themselves for sure. Nice early out by Billy. He goes up 2-1. Yep, they did. But like I said, they did make a lot of money. But everyone, if y'all are just now popping in with us, I see there's quite a few people that came in. We're at the first stop of the Predator Arcadia Centex Pull Tour. Uh, today is the final 16 for the Open, and the ladies start today. Uh, we have the brand new 10 ball uh, break pot, second chance entry, stuff like that. To the tour that Carmel's added, uh, there's eight stops this year as well. And you can see all of them right there. Next stop will be at Skinny Bob's where they have the text open. All right, let me get you back to the table. Oh, yes, Phil, for sure. Because that, if you, you are not familiar what Phil's talking about, uh, U.S. prelim, U.S. amateur prelim is played here at Fast Eddie's Embassy. All right, he didn't get the break he wanted with that one. Oh, he rattled it, but it fell. Tied up. We got the five and the seven in front of that six ball. The five six looked like it lines up for a combo. Hey everyone, if y'all could hit that thumbs up, we'd really appreciate it. It would help us out with the YouTube algorithm. Alright, he's looking to see if it lines up. Like I said, from the camera angle, it looks like it lines up. But we do want to say good afternoon to everyone. It's afternoon for us. If you're morning, night, welcome. Okay, he's looking at it. Yep, it lined up, and he's got a great shot on the five ball. And the seven pushed into the front of the corner pocket. Oh, uh, he should still be able to get by the nine ball. Pops it back for the nine. You know, as y'all can tell, I don't really say much towards the end of a game because 
I don't. The commentator's curse is a real thing. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it for him. So I will let him them shoot normally. I wanted to go ahead and throw this up one more time. Uh, you can see Predator is the title sponsor. Kamui is the other title, uh, other sponsor. They got partnerships with Digital Pool and Jam Up Apparel. And of course, us here at Backwards Billiards, we are the streamers that started with them four years ago. We were starting the same time they were starting, so we kind of became partners. And working together, growing it. Let me see. Uh, a gunproof granddad. Uh, nighttime. Well, I'm glad you could join us from the UK. Carmel. I wonder if Carmel's playing. All right, everyone, give me a moment. I'm going to go ask Carmel. She's over here. All right, everybody. Okay, actually, uh, a quarter of the field was brand new for this stop. Yeah, uh, Carmel says we had a bunch of players from out of town, like Billy Dyke. He never played before. Uh, wh where's Mohammed from? He's from Kuwait. Okay. So Mo Mohammed's in here for business or pleasure or something. Okay. Oh, they did? Who is his partner? Jasmine? Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah, uh, he's... Mohammed's actually not from Texas. He's from Kuwait. And Billy, he is from League City. So a lot of these guys are from out of town. Oh, you're welcome. But yes, she said a lot of them are out of towners that come for the stop. I said it was about a quarter of the field. Okay, so we played safe here. Afternoon, Land Raver. Yeah, it is a great turnout this weekend. They, the Carmel told me the stops normally average around 60. So it started off strong, like I said, with a lot of new people. Oh, yeah, he got it. He's going to leave a shot. Oh, yeah, he's got a straight shot towards that bottom corner. Jesse Ruiz just tried to do a jump shot on table 22 right beside it. He didn't get it. He ended up giving ball in hand. Oh, he missed it. Yep, 
Yeah, so we'll see how things go moving on. Like I said, all three locations for Fast Eddie's this year will all be diamonds. Actually, literally every stop for the Predator Arcadia Syntex Pool Tour is diamonds this year. Hey, afternoon, little Chris. I'll be honest, we got a lot of new players. Uh, Billy here has been shooting strong. Mohammed's been shooting strong. Uh, Rudy's still on the winner's side. Little Laz gave up the first match yesterday, 7-5, but he's still fighting through the one-loss side. So I wouldn't count him out. Let me see who else is on the winners. I mean, one lost side. Matthew Shoemaker still on the. And Roger Sin still on the one lost side. I can give you some scores. Uh, Little Laz is up 3 2 against Addison. Matthew's up 2 1 against Roger. Uh, Daniel Perez is up 2-0 on Ron Anderson. Uh, we're 2-2 here on this match, and they're not reporting the other two matches. We are using digital pool, so they can report from their phones. It has sped up things tremendously. Carmel was way ahead of schedule yesterday. Didn't go. going to bump it or oh I think he got it right behind the nine ball yeah I'm going to say based on his facial expression and him shaking his head he rolled it too much hey Max good afternoon hey let me put this out there while y'all are did y'all prefer the thumbnail yesterday which was the actual flyer or did y'all prefer what I made today for a thumbnail because I decided to just take that picture this morning and edit it out and do something and put it out there he bumped it stay out of the pocket stay out of the pocket ouch all right, so Billy's got ball in hand. Four balls left on the table. Oh, it's rolling. Okay, it looks like he's still got a good upper, good shot on this. Get himself an angle. Try to get back on this side of the table, or he'll come back and to take it in the corner. Yep, he's coming up for the side. All right, with that one, Billy goes up 3-2. Hey, we do want to thank everyone that joined us on the Backwards Billiards YouTube channel. Hey, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please consider it. It helps us out more than you can imagine. And if you could hit that thumbs up, that actually helps us with the YouTube algorithm. And the algorithm controls what gets shared on the main pages of YouTube. 
the recommendations and suggestions. So if y'all could help us out, we'd really appreciate it. All right, back to the table, Mohammed to break. All right, one down. Two's right at the side pocket. At four is still spinning. So, how is everyone today? What do y'all's? What is y'all's beverage of choice right now? I can be honest. I'm drinking a Coke. Later today, I will drink a beer. Hey, Jacob, how are you doing? These are eight foot diamonds, brand new. Yeah, these tables are literally maybe two and a half, three months old. Peachy. <laughs> Water as usual. Yeah, I need a caffeine, so I'm drinking a Coke. Yeah, it's pretty much standard. Uh, Best Eddies here in San Antonio, they put eight-foot diamonds. They replaced all the Gandys and all the old houses at three locations here. So they spent a lot of money on diamond tables, and it is very appreciated by all the players. <laughs> Drink that water. I chugged two bottles of water when I got home last night after yesterday. And I start off with one bottle in the morning. Every morning. Oh, he cut it. Yes, they are, especially the league players out of here. Uh, here, this specifically, this location is where all the APA uh, city, regionals, everything is held for San Antonio. Tri Cup. Uh, they, they had eight footers before, so just to keep the standard. Uh, footprint and didn't have to move any lights they stayed with the eight footer uh, max it comes down to table space they they originally started with eight footers so they kept the same footprint and you know how can i put it nine footers mean less tables which mean less money if you don't have the demand, because there's a lot of league players out of here, they're not going to play on nine footers. So you you cater to your clientele, which is smart business. Oh, he got back for the nine. Hey, Gene, how you doing? All right, Billy goes up 4-2. All right, they're going to take a quick break, so let me move you over to table two. Uh, this is table 22. Thank you, Pops. Yeah, I mean, I play better on 9-footers, I'll be honest, because I hate clusters. 
but because league and everything else is seven footers, you know, that's why I play on those mostly. All right, let me see if I can get you a score on this one while the other guys are taking a break. Let's see, Jesse Rizzo. Uh, they're not updating. Sorry, when I can't give you a score on this one. This is a one loss side match, though. Cool, Max. Yeah, like I said, I don't. Uh, most league players around here wouldn't play on the nine footers, and I think nine footers would be a a deep disadvantage if that's all you play on. Knowing that you go to the worlds or nationals events and you got to play on seven footers, that's why I like playing on multiple sizes. But like I said, I prefer playing on nine footers. Uh, like I said, I hate clusters. And everyone, the guys on the stream table are taking a quick break, so I moved it over here to table 22. Hey, Gene. Yeah, the new tables are badass. Oh, sorry. Excuse my language. So every stop this year is diamond table. Oh, sweet, Jacob. Yeah, but how can I put it? But the money is made with smaller tables. The, the higher caliber players want to play on nine footers that I completely understand, but money is made in this country off the of smaller tables. Yep. All right. Yeah, I'm about to move you back to the stream table, everyone. All right, I'm going to move you back to the table. All right. Yeah, but like like I said, I play on all sizes. I I don't I have a favorite, but I try to work on my breaking out you know, stuff like that on the smaller tables. <laughs> Good killing on three-foot tables. Hey, have you seen some of them YouTube channels that are dedicated to mini tables? Literally, they're like three foot wide or long. All right, so we got Billy racking here. Hey everyone, we have a new member that's joined our Eclectic Pool family. Welcome. We're now at 10,354. Thank you all for being part of our Eclectic Pool family. Hell, there's bars that still have six foot tables out there. I don't play at any of them, but it still amazes me that six footers are still out there in the United States. Yeah, pops, they are. Because, I mean, that valley tables 
I mean, they they became the staple for bars. Yeah, I think he's waiting for him to shoot. Not sure. Unless he's worried the cue ball is going to fly off the table. Oh, no, he was waiting for Jesse on the other table. All right, belly to break. He's at 4-2, race to 7. All right, looks like he can see the one. He should be able to get by the nine. Now, two there is roughly right there where the cue ball is. Hey, Nina. Oh, well, congratulations. The new diamonds do break well. Oh, he's going to draw it back behind the three. Out, that is definitely not what he wanted. Ah, so see, you see, you've seen some six footers too. All right, he's looking to kick into it. Let's see what he's going to do. Oh, yeah, they are. Hey, he's kicking at the two. Going to get the leave. Uh, Mohammed might be able to see a piece of this. Yeah, I figure give it a little about a year on the tables and see what happens. Most of the bars don't exist anymore. That is true. Oh, he's gonna stretch. All right, I don't think he's going to be gutsy and go after the two now. I think he's going to look at the run out here. He's still got to figure out the six. Oh, he's looking. Oh, yes, Laz is definitely grinding through the B side. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened in the first match yesterday. I know he he was tired when he came in.
coming around. I guess he can cut it. He's looking at it. Hey, yep. It's morning for you. How are you doing? Yep. Sorry, I never shared the social media. Hey, uh, speaking of which, if y'all could share the stream on y'all social media, wherever y'all are in the world, we'd really appreciate it. He just woke up. I figured. All right, so Billy goes up 5-2. Sorry, I was sharing on social media. All right. Let me put my LARP big screen up here so I can see what's going on. And one's down. One's at two. Two is back on the other side of that six ball. Hey, afternoon, crypto. Yeah, Mohammed's going to probably cut this down the rail. Oh, he tried to cut it. Oh, he's going to scratch. Ouch. All right. So momentum has definitely shifted towards Billy the last couple of games. Uh, it started off really strong with both players. All right. Is he looking for the 2-9 combo? Yeah, he's looking at it. How do, how do you all feel about the 2-9 combo? I mean, combo being able to combo the 9 ball and take it out early. You all like that? Rule. All right. With that one, Billy gets on the hill. Or you think they ought to have to run it out, make the nine ball the last ball. You think it'd be weird not to have it? You like it? See, the reason I'm bringing it up is because the other new tour that we're doing, you know, the 210 Nine Ball Tour, theirs is call everything, and it's also you run it out in order. The nine has to be the last ball. So I just wanted to get feedback on that from y'all.
Yeah, and see, that's it. They're they're basically using nine ball racket playing ten ball. Hey, Zammer, how you doing? All right, we got Mohammed at the table. Sorry, I'm still sharing on social media, so it's an aggressive game, yes. But technically, the nine is always last. You, you got me there, Max. I won't argue with that one. <laughs> you are right there, yep. And crypto, yep. Yeah, the, 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 I noticed some comments about Derby City. that They said it's a matchroom event. Why aren't they playing by the matchroom rules? Oh, nice shot there. Is he going to be able to get the three in the side pocket? The four is right there by that corner where he's at. Yeah, see, I've played before where you call the nine as well. But here we're using pre pretty much standard Texas Express rules with a few modifications, you know. La the last couple of years, we've been using the three-point rule. They got rid of that this year because we're using the arrow racks. Oh, he hit it. Didn't he? All right, so Muhammad's coming back to the table. Got a good opportunity here. Take it in the side as long as that five's not in the way. The cue ball's going to go up for the four. It counts towards matchroom ranking. Yeah, you're right there. But, oh, he's, that was close. The thing is, if it, why does it count towards matchroom ranking if it's not a matchroom event? You know what I'm getting at? I mean, if it's not a matchroom event, why are they using it as ratings? Uh, because they're just using the nine ball rack, yep, and making whatever ball you can. They don't do it in order. Oh, nice shot in the side there. That is true, Crypto. Oh, he didn't roll too much. He's looking. Okay, he didn't get lined up with this nine ball. They're calling the. Uh, they're doing the. Ten, uh, ten ball, break pot for the women. They just draw the number, now, or ticket. All right, so Muhammad's at three. You're welcome, yep. 
Yeah, it just makes it easier. I mean, if you get nine ball banks, you use the nine, you know, the nine balls that are there. Shouldn't matter the order. You, you, whoever makes five first wins the game. I've been talking to some people about having a banks tournament, uh, but nothing's been scheduled yet. Okay, looks like they're taking a quick, they're getting everything situated. Now I'm going to move you over here. Just for now, until we get back. Hey, Avocado Ranch, how you doing? Hey. Okay, I shared social media. Like I said, we're on table 22 here. Okay, Mohammed is back. I'm going to move you back to table 1, a.k.a. table 21. All right, we're at 6 3. Uh, Billy is on the hill. We're race to seven. All right, nice break. You need three balls on the break. You can see the one ball there. But it's not in a great position. But he wants to try the bank. He does not have as many balls for hiding. Yeah, he's going to play safe. Put some distance there. All right, let me. I got an ad coming through. Let me kill it real quick. There we go. All right. So Billy's got. I mean, he could easily bank this, but it's setting up for that two ball, which is up there by him. Hit each other, or is he going to get it behind the eight? No, I don't think he got it quite behind the eight ball. Yeah, lagging for every break would be interesting.
it would definitely make lagging a priority for a lot of people to learn. He got the position on the two, but it didn't go. So we got Billy here. He just made an announcement. I don't know if that got him. No, he's still not sure which way he wants to go with this. Oh, oh, he look at this. He got the roll. I mean, he was trying to set up for the two ball. It's not like he plant, planned it. Diamond tables, they're pi these are these are four and a half pro cut. You know, if you don't hit them just right, they will rattle. They don't rattle as bad as the Gandys did, but they're still gonna rattle if you don't hit it just right. <laughs> yeah, but what you imagine winning a match and never breaking? Is that what you're kind of getting at? Oh, overcut it. All right, it's got a set up for Billy here. That was a nice shot. Now, if you're just now joining us, we're at day two of the Predator Arcadia Syntex Pull Tour. Uh, we are down to the final 16 in the Opens Division, and the ladies started today. This is the fourth year for the tour. And this year, we this, this stop. A quarter of the field was brand new, never played before. And we started with 82 players yesterday. We finished about 6, 6.30, put the final 16, and came back to this, afternoon, uh, this morning. All right, with that, Billy takes the match.